Are you bored of counting with the standard Arabic numbers? Would you prefer to count with letters? Greek letters? Binary? Hexadecimal? Or even Roman numerals? That's what this video is about. If at this stage, however, all you want are the Excel formulas, then I've added those in the description. I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe for more riveting Excel content. If you are still here, let's start with Roman numerals. You could just type them in like so, but that would be extraordinarily laborious. So what can we do? We can start with a one and use a little known formula called Roman. And what that does is converts our one to an I. Now, if I want to increment it though, we're going to fail. So what we need to do is do Arabic to turn it back into a number. Then we add one. And then we convert back to Roman. And now we can just fill down. And there we go. We've got our Roman numbers automatically generating. There is a limitation, however, <laughs> and uh, you can do, if I just show you, we can do 3,999, but <laughs> we can't do 4,000. That's too much. <laughs> um, so hopefully you don't need to count to beyond 3,999 in Roman numerals, because you can't. Let's make a new sheet. What I can do, I might just share this workbook then you can see it for yourself. Binary. Binary. So this slightly less friendly sounding formula is effectively turning decimal into a binary. And then what we want to do again, as before, bin to dec, binary to decimal, take my number above. Not much is going to change. A one is a one. We add one. So far, so good. And then we do decimal to binary. There are 10 types of people in the world those that understand binary and those that don't. <laughs> if you want to make it look more authentic, I'm not sure if there's a number format that lets you actually pad with zeros. Well, I don't know. No, is the short answer. So what we can do, if we say, if I put up here in cell C1, how many zeros I want in it, I can do something like this. I can do right rept uh, zero, that many cells, let's anchor that. Uh, and then go and my number. And then, then again, my cell there. And what that's gonna do is add eight zeros to the number and then grab the rightmost portion of that to then only bring back the uh, number left aligned in that sort of string of zeros. So we have that leading zero look that you have with um i think they're in clusters of four or something i think anyway so that's binary so you can you could do something like that to format it and again the same thing hexadecimal much the same decimal to hex like so And then we just do the same thing here. So we do hex to deck, deck to hex. Now, something that's different here is with hexadecimal, you won't see any change until you get to 10. And that's when we start counting your letters until we get to 15. And then we loop over to numbers again. Now, letters, we have a letter. I want to have this cell be B. What I can do is go Unicode. And what that does, <laughs> apart from weirdly formatting it with the leading zeros now, which uh, I discovered something by mistake. If you times it by one, you can actually get your padding in there with the cell formatting. So, uh, you don't actually need any of this stuff. You can, you can actually format it 
with the cell formatting here. You just need to be aware that binary by default outputs as a string. So if you change the formatting here, it won't make any difference whatsoever. But if I now times it by one, the formula to turn it back into a number, then we, we're able to add the padding of the zeros without having to do any jiggery pokery with reps and writes and all that kind of stuff. So we can basically just delete all this stuff out. Like so, I could just pretend I didn't actually just discover any of this. I'm an honest kind of guy, so I didn't know that, but now I do. So we've discovered something together. Back to letters. Right, we get the Unicode number for the letter A. We add one, and then we turn it back into a character with the unichar function. And you're probably seeing a pattern here. Most of this is basically converting it back to a number, adding one, and converting it again back to the thing. So whether it be Roman, binary, hexadecimal, numbers, letters, it's the same thing. Fill down, and there we go, we've got letters. For some reason this isn't updating, I don't know why. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, sometimes the charts in Excel can be a bit wonky, and they won't show the, um, the labels, but <laughs> just uh, drag them around and eventually it will. I don't know why it does that, but there you go. Um, and then the same is true for, you can just do uppercase, that automatically changes it, that's an easy one. And if you go on Wikipedia and copy paste an alpha from the Greek alphabet, you can now bring in the Greek alphabet like so. And I think that's pretty much it. It might be a bit of a stretch saying there's six things I've shown you there. Technically five, I suppose. Maybe four, if you say all the alphabet stuff is technically the same. But anyway, that's how you can get a bit more creative with your labeling of things. If you want to increment stuff with something other than numbers and look a bit fancier, all without any kind of UTFs or anything like that. You're just basically using vanilla Excel formulas. Thanks for watching and I'll probably see you in another six months unless I get tons of comments on this video about doing similar stuff and then maybe I'll do another one. But until then, uh, see you later.